My team and I, we are sworn into office in August 2022 by His Excellency Professor Charles Homer Saludo. Shortly after that, I moved straight down to Eden Mr. Local Government Secretariat for an on the spot assessment of this council headquarters and I promised indeed the Miss South that we will walk round the club to take the council to a lofty height and be hundred percent accountable. The following are our achievements so far. Environment. On assumption of office, in the Middle South, local government secretariat was overgrown with grasses, gradually turning into bush, and we swung into action. Today, we have made the secretariat clean and livable, service our generator states, generating sets, and a solar, solar light. All thanks to Almighty God. Our working governor, Professor Schuma Saludo, and his amiable wife, Dr. Mrs. Nonye Saludo. We were the first local government in line with Governor Saludo's initiative to inaugurate flag off operation clean, eco friendly, and livable in the Middle South. In the Middle South local government earlier, under my watch, inaugurated five man committee drawn from different wards in the local government, headed by the councillor of each ward, and mandated them to be bridge builders between Aswama and the people. To boast the morale of our people, we mapped out prize gifts for the neatest town and most environmentally clean markets. We are pleased to announce to you that, based on the assessment of our supervisory councillor on environment in conjunction with Aswama team, the neatest town and market for the first quarter are Alo. Our town and Afonobi market, respectively. We have equally gifted them branded new Aswama Waste Collection buckets. We employed 30 street sweepers from the seven towns of Idemi South, and we have planned to employ more. We have done our first stage of the silting and opening of drainages. We entered the second phase. On Saturday, 1st April 2023, and we have done the third and fourth phase. It then the South Local Government, under my watch, cleared and over 12 years abandoned maintenance refuse dump located in a concrete market. To maintain sanity and improve security around the Local Government Council headquarters, Ojoto. My team and I have removed all illegal structure attached on the perimeter face of the local government council headquarters. We embark on monthly sanitation every last Saturday of the month. Security, law and order, peace and reconciliation. On assumption on office, its security in the Denver South was on the rise. We experienced kidnapping and dumping of unidentified corpses in butchers around Mili John Ojot and the Milio Biaja Nuri. To tackle this, with the help of another state 
state government, under the leadership of Professor Charles Chukwu Masaludo, we set up a 14-month security personnel for Idemli South local government area, Idemli South AVG. Headed by a well-experienced son of Idemli South, and the outfit is full equipped and funded. For sustainability, we have reached out to stakeholders and prominent sons and daughters of Idemli South for more support and collaboration. We have openly held monthly security meetings with the police, DSS, civil defense, immigration, and other security personnel and vigilante groups to ensure a crime-free Idemli South local government area. In our last security meeting, we had in attendance the senior special advisor to the governor on security matters. Peace and security goes hand in hand. Therefore, we went further to reconcile a long wearing term leadership tussle and our in line with Governor Saludo, Governor Chukuma Saludo's drive for a livable Anambra. And with the help of the Capacity Commissioner for Local Government and Chief Deputy Matters, Honorable Tony Collins, Mwabuwane, if I am We have conducted their various town union elections. We have also ensured a peaceful Asatu Youth election in the Demi South. We also partner with our community, the Ala People's Convention, for the installation of close circuit TV cameras in strategic location in our and also in our KTT. Infrastructures. We have worked closely with Anambra State Government under the leadership of Professor Chukuma Saludo through the Commissioner for Local Government, Chief Desi, and Community Matters for the good people of Idemli South with the flag off and construction of many roads and other infrastructural development in Idemli South. We have set up road maintenance agency named Idemli South Road Maintenance Agency, ISMA. This is to enable us to have a quick quality maintenance work on fair portion of roads and damaged and dangerous potholes. Last year, December 2022, Indemnity South Local Government under the leadership of Honorable Mrs. Amaka Obi facilitated the sand filling, palliative work and grading of some roads. Namely, OKTT. Idem Nopa Road. Okay, Titi, Nevi Nightel Road. Nobi, Abon Primary School to Okay, Titi Road. Nobi, Ume Junction, Okay, Titi Road. Okay, Titi, Azibo, Nevi Road. Oba Old Road to St. Paul Anglican Church, Oba. Akubu, Oye Market Road. This will help to the congest traffic jam during that seasonal period. Most especially in Afondobi and their former, and even in Cockade, where we have issue of traffic. We have reconstructed the collapsed north a health center perimeter fence to prevent invasion by hot drums. We facilitated the reconstruction of a sculvet at St. Joseph Catholic Church located in second over road for easy access through the State Ministry of Works. We are presently renovating the bond in the Minister Local Government INEC office. We attracted the reconstruction of one kilometer of Akumwoj Road at Fratet through Honorable Chief Ikena Iyew Ike Kubala. We were the first local government council to change our billboard to the new look of solution is here. We are presently doing the renovation and repainting of the traditional Lula's building inside the local government's headquarters. We have installed air condition, air conditioners, both new chairs and new tables for the Indemnista Local Government Council Hall so that we can stop hiring chairs and tables. We also renovated the damaged ceilings at the local government council hall. 
If then this cell local government under my watch is currently building a modern toilet at a Kokkit market. We are also in continuous talk with the state government to do more loads construction in the Demni South so as to check its security and improve the well-being of the Demni South. We have repented our local government council headquarters all one perimeter fence with caves as a beautification at the entrance of the council headquarters. We have also done repair works and replacement of all damaged, damaged driveway, stroke walkway inside the local government sectorate. We have also repaired and replaced all old windows in the local government council headquarters with Almaco windows. We are presently constructing an ICT building inside the local government council sectorate for easy access to information and communication technology to our people. I am also passionate and concerned about the welfare of Hundi Demi. Therefore, I do my best at every point in time in bringing the notice of our state government, the challenges we face here. I am instrumental and fully participated in the inspection of the erosion site at Oba Oweli Road. We also brought the attention of the state government to the damaged portion of Nobi, Nob Agu Road. And I was at the inspection with a representative of the Works Commission, Human Capital Development, Youth and Women Empowerment. Last year, October 20th, 2022, we flagged off a scale acquisition program where we trained over 150 women and youths in different skills, including nylon production and packaging, bakery and catering, bread making and other, other things, cosmetics and makeup, production of headwear, I mean fascinators, and bead making. During the graduation ceremony, we empowered the successful graduates with oven, nylon making machine, makeup kits, and hat wear production kits. We have also just started the second phase of our Indemnity South scale acquisition training, and this time over 300 women and youth of Indemnity South are undergoing different trainings on sewing or fashion design, bakery and catering, hairdresser or hairstylist, fascinators, makeup, and decay. ICT, nylon production, disinfected and permit production. This we are doing to key into governor's initiative of one youth to skills. We have also partnered with a right B2M US Incorporation to train our youth in decorating floor tiling, wall decoration, painting, ceiling, and etc. I must have to commend the amiable wife of our governor, Dr. Mrs. Nonye Saludo, for all her encouragement and support. Education. In commemoration of the International Day of the Gilshad, we organized a workshop for the Gilshad on health, education, and medical rights. Over 500 participants, we are drawn from different schools and our local government to participate as a way to motivate them. We gave them gift items such as sanitary pads, customized and solidified exercise book. We also visited four female schools in the Denver South and gifted them sanitary parts. And we invited doctors to enlighten them on various concerns of the girl child. We organized a symposium on sexual health reproduction for all the female secondary school in the Denver South. I used to move around the school in the Denver South unannounced to ascertain 
the performance of teachers and students. Based on what we saw on ground during the inspection, we now decided to organize a teacher summit. We then became the first and only local government to have organized a teacher's summit, where we invited teachers from all the schools in the Denisa local government, and we invited professionals to deliver quality lectures and training for the teachers. We have given a total of seven scholarships to students, four of them personally sponsored by myself as the best performing students while we partnered with Support Children Education Funds, C Fund, to sponsor the remaining three less privileged throughout their stay in school. In partnership with the United Nations International Peace and Governance Council, and support children education funds. We have organized seminar to mentor a lot of young men and women on alternative disputes or conflict resolutions through the method or arbitrations and, nego and negotiation and prevention of violence against women and drug abuse. Agriculture. We ensure proper distribution of hybrids, palm fruits, and coconut seedlings from Agri Commission to all the town down to the household in the Demi South last year planting season. We have also landed up the second phase of the hybrid of the hybrid palm nuts and coconut seedling distribution to all the 12 wards of Idemi South local government. This we are doing in line with our governor's initiative for every household in Anambra to have an agricultural produce, which can fetch their money every season. We have also commenced the planting of trees across the local governments. Health. We are the first local government to do a work-based free medical outreach. And we also sponsored a three months free medical treatment for children, the elderly, and the youth in the seven communities that made up Eden Nisa local government in all in our primary health centers and the health posts. We also partner with Anambra State Primary Healthcare Development Agency for the one-week maternal, newborn, and child health, which we flag off at Nkolofia Health Center, Nkolofia Health Center, KTT and Ebenezer Nook Health Center. We have visited and supervised all health center and health posts in the Demi local government to check the environment and the power center and the performance of the nurses. Cordial relationship with civil servants. We have great values and share wonderful relationship with the Demi local government council civil servants. The relationship, support, encouragement, and love we share have made them to be more punctual to work and productive too. Last year, December, as their Christmas package, I shared a bag of rice to them to encourage them more. I have always Created quality time to attend meeting with the Minister Local Government Civil Servants or workers, and the meeting have helped in fostering good working relationship with them. Relationship with the great women of the South. I have a cordial relationship with women in the South. I always meet with them to encourage them. The great women of the South. Had, al had also, in return, showed me true and sincere support in this journey. I made sure I went round the seventh town in the Demi South during August meeting. We have a resounding relationship with Indiwe, the President General of the Seven Towns, the Women PG, and we have meeting often to discuss issues on development of each town, most especially issue of this security. Relationship with party. 
I have a very close working relationship with our great party Apoga, from the world to the local governments and the state level. And I am grateful for the opportunity they have bestowed on me to serve the good people of Idem, the South local government. Being the only woman chairman, I am very humbled, honored, and grateful. Last year, December, in the spirit of celebration, I donated some bags of rice that was shared among parties members. During the last general election, I was committed and we showed great support to all our party candidates. I personally donated a lot of electionaries materials and I did my best to ensure that all APUGA candidates came out successful in the South local government. My commitment to our great party, APUGA, has made many people from other parties, including APC and PDP, return back to our great party, APUGA. We have over the last one year welcomed about 90 defectors from other parties into APUGA. Awards, our hard work, good service, and commitment to the good people of Idemli South and beyond has attracted the Marius Merit Award to me. Last year, Asa to Idemli North and South gave me an award of excellence. Early this year, I was awarded an Outstanding Chairman of the Year by Ruth Wash Magazine and many other awards. I have received. For achieving all this in a short period of time, I must, I must thank the Almighty God, Professor Chukuma Saludo, and his wonderful wife, Mrs. Nonyel Saludo, for giving me this wonderful opportunity to serve Ndi Demi South. Not forgetting my understanding husband, children, and family members, my team of counselors our great party, APUGA, the Deminister Local Government Head of local, head of local Government Administration and all the civil servants, the good people of the Deminister Local Government, first and well-wishers, most importantly, women. I say thank you, thank you, thank you, Dalu Ndi Demi, for accepting me.